on everybody this is killer743 back well with a different tier video and this time with a review wait what's going on uh there's too much aggro going on i'm not liking this oh boy uh please don't tell me something's coming this way oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit oh is that hello motherfucker <laughs> Oh well, well, after that encounter, I guess we're gonna start the review because fuck that shit. Anyway, uh, how's it going guys? This is Killer743 back. Well, with another Dead Frontier video, and this time it's gonna be a review about my favorite weapon as of now, which is the Desert Rat. I've been looking through many uh, review videos, and basically it's either looting or with drugs. And let me tell you something, that is something not many people want to watch, because not everybody in Dead Frontier has drugs. Anyway, today I have a special guest. His name is Final Joker in Dead Frontier. Say hi, Joker. Hello. So he's basically one of my, you know, good friends here in Dead Frontier. We talk a lot, we chill, we loot together. So anyway, he also is a pistol user. He uses a Dusk Enforcer, so you know, he loves pistols. So I decided to bring him along to help me, well, not help me, but to, you know, to give his own opinions in this review. So first of all, let's first find out what is a Desert Rat. Alright, anyway, so the Desert Rat, uh, let's see here. It requires 120 pistol ammo, which is something Final Joker doesn't have. What a noob. Hey. Alright. It uses .55, that's 9k per box. Uh, it's a little pricey for the ammo, but for 800 rounds per box, it's pretty good. Right, Alan? Yep. It uses 24 round capacity. It has fast reload speed, so someone like me who has, what, 42 reload? <laughs> <laughs> it's really good because you know I don't really care about reload. Average accuracy, so get that accuracy up, right? What do you think? Yeah. Wait. You need a at least. I'd try about at least eighty, to be honest. Eighty. That's what I use. All right then. So eighty, at least eighty accuracy. That's what my man here says. Very high critical chance, which is very important. That way you don't have to be, you know, putting a lot of points into critical hit. One hundred and twenty pistol. Okay, we just said that. And damage per hit is 30.7, which is pretty great if you ask me. It's two hit, you know, it does it two hits everything except for the leaper is three hits, and the bloats is three hits. So that's pretty amazing for a little pistol. It is currently 28 mil on the market, 26 mil, right at Joker. Uh, I'll double check on that actually. All right, so while he's checking that, let's just read the little history behind it. Not to be confused with the Desert Eagle, but close. This gun was built off the Desert Eagle. Alright, there's a little bit of background where it come from. Refitting the handle with the with that of a revolvers and well kept secured and with duct tape? What? What in the duct tape notes often? <laughs> Whatever. Often joked as the best material in the world. Okay, that makes sense. Unlike reloading a des real Desert Eagle, the magazine is slipped into the gun itself by flipping the body open. What? Inserting the mag into the body and then closing it. So it's like a PP90, you know what that is? Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. Allowing for speed reloads, the gun produces a lot of heat when fired, therefore a heat sink is attached below the gun. Huh? To prevent the gun from exploding. What the fuck? Yo! What do you Aww. think? Yeah. So basically, if this thing was a real life weapon and you didn't know how to use it, your fucking both hands will come off. Jesus. And, and 30 million is wasted. <laughs> <laughs> Railroad spikes are used in place of blades, but the spikes don't last long as a bayonet. Also, he finally starts saying that the fucking blades are useless. Finally. <laughs> oh my god. Well, guys, that's basically the history on it. Anyway, Joker, did you find the price? 30 million for a GC one. <laughs> Who even cares about GC? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And you'll, you'll basically looking at 30 mil for a Mastercrafted one. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus Christ. My God, that's bullshit. Anyway, let's now talk about... Well, let's put this gun into action. Let's go. Alright, as you can see, I am in... You know, I'm basically in the inner city, obviously. Duh. I'm just gonna share my... Hold up, give me a second here. Oops. Yeah, I see it. So, what can you say so far about the Desert Rat? Desert Rat is... As I'm looking at it, the thing is so powerful. I... It does not match with the Dusk Enforcer's damage. I can't lie. 
I too have a Dusk Enforcer and let me tell you, it really does help when you uh, 2 hit everything and 3 hit everything then you know basically 4 hitting everything and then 3 hitting everything cause you know it's fucking, it can kill you too you know because let's say you're on your last shot, you didn't kill the freaking leaper and then you know you're reloading and bam, you get smacked, right Joker? Yeah, that's happening a lot. Oh, <laughs> yo, <laughs> good, good background. Anyway, also it has a 24 round clip and that basically 4 more you know bullets in the dusk enforcer so that also helps a bit. Also as I said the fast reload it does help a lot when you're fighting aggro you know that way you're not wasting like what 2 seconds 3 seconds reloading a goddamn weapon right on it. Yeah. <laughs> also as right. you can also see it I mean it does hold off its own it has a good speed on it it's the same speed as the dusk enforcer right joker? Yeah it is. Uh, it's been looked over. So I can see why it will be in the 20 mil range, but I wouldn't really pay. I mean, I already paid for it, obviously, because I just wanted one so bad. But in your opinion, Joker, what would you really give this kind of price? I'd say about 20, 15 mil. 20, 15 mil? Yeah, around. That's a good price right there, you know? Because obviously, I already tested the War Carbine, and it does way better than the War. It, the War 3 hits the Green Rumblers and the Black Rumblers, and it 2 hits the Green. No. The red, no, the black long arms. No, it was the it, it two hits the red long arms and the green long arms, and then it three hits the black long arms, which is not really that good, you know, compared to the desert red, of course. Yeah, and if it's the desert it's damage boosted, uh, that's a different story. Oh man, can you imagine that shit? Jesus Christ, that would be one shot. Like one shot, man. Fucks on a double, no, on a damage event, whatever. It's like a god weapon. Yeah, basically. Oh man, that'd be awesome, man. Or if you have the, uh, ultra boost, then. Oh, well, you see, not everybody has 100 million with them, so yeah. I had 50 yeah, yeah. mil. Look at the fucking thing. My cash went from 52 mil to freaking 16 mil. So yeah, guys, if you have 50 mil, doesn't mean you're rich. You're just basically medium class. <laughs> <laughs> so back to the Desert Rat. I'm gonna also compare it to the Dusk Enforcer. As you can see, let me just skip it to where I am, where the Dusk Enforcer is at. Alright, so there I am with the Dusk Enforcer. Uh, compared to the Dusk Enforcer, you know, it, the Dusk Enforcer obviously is less powerful than the Desert Rat. Of course, how much damage does it do, J Joker? 19, 17 damage? Uh, I think so. It does 19 damage per hit. Yeah, as you can tell, it's not very powerful compared to the Desert Rat, which does 30.2 damage per hit. And it does 60, 60 point something damage per second, which is really impressive, to be honest. It's so it's so powerful and so fast that it sometimes like I kill I, like it kills the green numbers too quick and then explodes on my ass. So yeah, that's how good it is. I bet if I bet if Joker used one, he'll probably just for like the next ten minutes, right, Joker? Basically. <laughs> oh yeah. Probably able to grind to my next Yeah, it's a fucking beast. Uh, it also com and I use it on the fl on the Black Titan. It kills it in about how to like two thousand three thousand shots around there. Really good weapon. Imagine with the boost, damage boost, you'll be in, a, you know, you'll be in, uh, in good hands with the weapon. So yeah, guys, that's basically all from my review. Uh, Joker, what would you give this weapon? I give it, well, out of one out of ten, I'd give it a eight. Eight. All right. Would you give your reasonings? Well, hmm, the only thing that I have a problem with is, is with the ammo mm -hmm. and how expensive it's gotten. Mm -hmm. it's basically all. But besides that, it's a very good weapon, especially for PvP. Uh, PvP, that I put it as a ten, to be honest. For me, it would be a 8.5 out of 10. Like Alan said, the ammo is r quickly rising up because of this damn weapon. Before they were cheap as fuck because basically no one would use .55 because you know you just had a Greyhawk and I think really, wouldn't really do a lot in PvP nor in city. And the other reasoning is the damn price. It's like 26 mil for a pistol. Jesus Christ. That's like, that's more than a Tataku, a Tataku, whatever you fucking name it. By two. Yeah, exactly, by two. Damn, it's really expensive, so. But is it worth it? It's really worth it. I mean, it makes looting way easier. I don't have to spend, like, so much ammo on, like, you know, I don't have to spend so much money on ammo because it ran out or this or that. I, I had that issue with the work. I would run out of ammo quickly and it wouldn't really do its job, so it got me kind of mad. So, yep, yeah, you know, and I, and I like the little sound. It sounds like a little pea shooter. Right, Alan? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, guys, that's basically it. Uh, you can say goodbye, Joker. Goodbye. 
if you guys want to, want to see him again in other reviews just put it down in the comment section below and this is killer seven for three signing off and see you around and i'll be making an uh, a looting video if you guys want joker on the next looting video let me know as well so yeah goodbye guys see ya let's get it started